In this video, we are going to show you something we recommend to be done with psych installations when you're, you have a sound stage to do a um, second layer of sheetrock, which will really help uh, dampen the sound and minimize sound reflectance if you're using your studio for video where you'll be recording sound. So what we've got here is a furring strips already installed for a built-in psych installation. Uh, we're using this ProPsych System Super 2.5 EZ. Great system with a 30 inch, <coughs> excuse me, 30 inch radius. Uh, what we have here is the first layer of sheetrock. We've already taken out the sheetrock and replaced it with half inch plywood furring strips, which is what the modules will be uh, screwed, on, screwed into. Now, if we were doing just a single layer of sheetrock, we would go ahead and put the modules on as it is right now. But we're going to add a second layer of sheetrock. Then we are going to mark chalk lines, vertical and horizontal lines, and also on the floor, which will help us guide the modules into place. So we're going to go ahead and put the sheetrock on, do the chalk lines, and show you how the modules fit right into place and screw in to the furring strips, that, which will be behind the second layer of sheetrock. All right, so we have got the second layer of sheetrock on here. We didn't put all the screws in. This is for demonstration purposes. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and snap the chalk lines. What we're going to do is on the system Super 2.5 EZ, we know the measurements. Uh, according to the instructions, are a vertical chalk line at 40 and a quarter inches out from the corner on each wall. So we're going to measure that top and bottom, do a chalk line, 40 and a quarter out here. Then we're going to come and go 26 inches up from the floor of your studio and so we're going to measure that and do a horizontal chalk line at 26 inches on both walls and then also 26 inches on the floor and we're going to do that also then we'll be ready to bring in the modules and you'll see how they go right into the wall. Okay, so we have got the, all the chalk lines drawn and we've got the modules that were already assembled earlier up here. So what we're going to do now, and you need as many people as you can for this, we've got three. So we are going to now put the system into the corner and we're going to make the, as close as possible, the vertical edge here of the corner module line up with the chalk lines we did at 40 and a quarter inches and then the horizontal ones at 26 inches on the wall and 26 inches out on the floor. And once we have that lined up, we're going to go ahead and use our eighth inch drill bit to drill um, anchoring uh, holes in here and then put screws in the corner first and then we'll just continue on all of them. You need to make sure that you do use a, a screw or a, a drill to pre-drill the holes so that it doesn't uh, move around or anything. Now the furring strips are already behind 
the drywall, the second layer of drywall that we just put up. So we just need to use long enough screws to go ahead and go all the way through the, the, this layer of drywall into the furring strips. Catching over here. All right, so we have gone ahead and installed the corner modules into, into the second layer of sheetrock. This is the Sound Dead Studio. All, the, all that would be remaining right now is to mud the seams, just like you would normal drywall. Uh, usually we recommend three total coats of mud, the first two with Durabon 90. It really resists cracking better than any mud that we've used before. And then a coat of topping mud, and of course sanding in between uh, each coat. So you wanna feather out and make sure all the seams and transitions are as smooth as possible, then you're gonna go ahead and primer and paint your studio and it will be perfectly seamless. So we really me recommend this method if you're gonna be doing any audio production in your studio, um, which um, the second layer of sheetrock really deadens the sound and uh, it's something we do recommend to people. If they have a chance to do it, do it. But either way, you're gonna have a great looking studio. If you've got any questions, please contact someone at the ProPsych office. We're always happy to help. So thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful and good luck.